right guys, here we are. We've got a little bit of a prep for the loose record breakers that we're going for. So as Tom and I are sitting in the big daddy log. Thank you very much again Richard Looney for sending that across. This will be the world record attempt on this beast here. The little fella. And a big thank you to the Atlas Endurance boys for making me this. Oof, what is that? It's a 286 kilogram ball of steel. Also known as an Atlas stone. AKA the Castle Water. Oh, there you go. Have a feel for this, look at this. Smooth. So we've um, we've got um, Big uh, Z, Zydrinus Avicus, the GOAT, the legend himself. He'll be the head judge and referee for our attempts, which is amazing. Obviously I'm going for Zydrinus' record. Uh, he's got 228. So to have Zydrinus referee me when I'm doing the log is incredible, he's the best, best ever. And then he'll be refereeing Tom. Actually, there's a fact, I have had Big Z referee my Woos and Arnold's world record attempts. Oh. That's quite a cool thing, and then to do it, hopefully a third time lucky with him, so. Yeah, it's quite a cool wee thing. Big Z must be my lucky magnet. <laughs> We've got Castle Water on board who Help Tom and I out anyway, they sponsor us, so a massive shout out to them, that's awesome for them coming on board. And Mirafit as well, who's just been a godsend to us in this time, they've sent us up countless amounts of equipment. We're actually using the Mirafit, the calibrated plates on the log, so they've sent all that up, which is amazing. Um, and mats as well. Yeah, and the crafts of mats here that we're sitting on. So it, they are, they're awesome. So it's nice to see that these type of companies are coming on board and supporting us. So we're actually just waiting for a phone call with the legend himself, Zydrinus Zaviscus, just to show him the setup, weigh some, you know, weigh the log, just, just to go over a few things. So maybe try and give him a phone. I think he might be sleeping. Should we try and give him a wee tinkle? You know, wait for nobody. I'll yeah. give him a, I'll give him a phone. Hey, Big Z. Sorry, man, you okay? Yes. <laughs> Hello. So, I'll show you around just now, Z. So, um, I think Tom will maybe warm up to 265. Yeah. And then, I, I guess just one left on the 285. Maybe you do a double. Maybe he does two reps. I don't know. See how easy. I think maybe, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> we'll soon find out. And, um, hold on, I'll just open this door. Uh, so for me, the second you're going to start. Yeah, you can maybe move that out of the way. So basically, this is the. It's, it doesn't look so nice just now. We're, all this banners, we're getting new banners. So I just wanted to put up to now just to show you. It basically everything will be covered. Everything will be covered here. So that'll be the, the full back. Um, this is the log we'll be using, Tom. You just on to now. So I believe it's it's all part of. I think you got the specs from Mark. It's 142 kilos empty. Eight foot long. Um, the the handles here, I can take them out for you. I believe it's uh, two foot, two feet, center to center, twelve inch diameter. Yeah, I think it's very similar to the to the Slater log. I think. Um, so Richard, the guy that did it, he's carved. You see. Oh, carvings. So this is my my title for Scotland, Sc strong, uh, Scotland strongest man five times, and then Tom only have two. Shut up. <laughs> and then he also do uh, Stokeman. So maybe one day if you come to Scotland, you can try. You can. Yeah. <laughs> you put two two forty on maybe on press. I think. Because are uh, you wanting us to wait to show to show you? We can weigh the log. Yeah, we will need, but they, we will do it uh, this before, before attempt, I think. Yeah, you, you, you want to see? Yeah. Yeah. So these are the, 
So, like, these are the calibrated. <laughs> they should be good, but um, they're all brand. Yes, 10, so I'll put on, what did I do? I think four 10s, which will be 2, 2, 2.5. And then I'll just make it up to 2, two three, zero. Mm -hmm. So, but we'll, we'll weigh everything. You know, everything will be weighed. Um, you know, it'll be very, 100%, you know, the weight, we'll know the weight 100%, so. That's the most important thing, is just to show everybody that, you know, what we say the log is, the weight is correct. So maybe we then, we weigh the empty log, the blades, and after? After we do the same, like yeah. Well, oh. oh, signal. Welcome to the island service. <laughs> Hope this doesn't happen. Yeah. Sorry. The internet is just... It's just like my my, my uh, connection isn't so good in Scotland. <laughs> we, we we'll get it sorted um, for for me. We have good internet. We have very fast internet. Okay, you're showing off. So, <laughs> but yeah, like you say, we we weigh everything before and then after. All going well. If I do good rep, then we weigh it straight straight away after. I watched your video with Mark. Um, and I think you also said maybe going for, um, forward in the future to also do this. You know, say if we do a world record attempt and world's ultimate strongman in Woos, we do the same procedure. You know, after we do the attempt, we weigh the log again straight away just to... I think it's just for all of us just to make sure that the, the weight is what the weight is. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be... Um, I'll be interested to see how it goes after. I don't know. I just, I just hope you're a good referee. Z. Don't, don't, don't. I know you. <laughs> don't leave me too long. <laughs> I remember in um, in Dubai, you were refereeing the 180 for Kita for reps, um, and I remember you said to me, you like to be a strict referee for everyone so then there's no question whether it's good rep or bad rep so I think for me that's that's better to be stricter so we, we, we have stronger lockout and hold it um, so there's no question as soon as you came on as referee everyone kind of <laughs> calmed down and um, <laughs> which was nice um, so that's good for, for me so thank you for coming on and <laughs> yeah, we'll I just uh, now don't have anything to do so they ask me reference so it's good <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kills the boredom huh? <laughs> I prefer if it was in front of 10,000 people you know cheering and <laughs> yeah now I have, I have Tom <laughs> hello come on <laughs> And, and Tom doesn't even cheer for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> so no, it should, it should it should be good thoughts. Um, exciting, I think, for everyone. I just hope that you know everyone just sees is positive for us. You know, I, I hope that because a 230 kilo log for me is still a record for me. If anyone wants to call it anything else, it's still my record. You know, for my personal record. You know, so. Um, and I think going forward then if we hopefully if things happen in August in the World Walk Championships um, that gives me good confidence then going in there and you know battling with, uh, with Bibby, Bibby and Hixie and everyone else so we'll see. We're going to have a TV so let me just show you here quickly um, so as I'm pressing so I'll be pressing probably around this area here this the log will be moved back and then you will have a big, you've got a 55 inch TV, so you'll be on the screen there. So when I'm pressing, um, I, can, I can see you, you give me down, um, and then well, no lift. down or no lift. I hope, hopefully good lift. Are you in your sauna now? You have in sauna? <laughs> oh, you're strong now. Oh, that's G. <laughs> wow.
That's how much I'm going to have to come on with it. Tomorrow, this big, big uh, place for, for trophies. So now everywhere in my house, trophies. Jeez, oh, wow. <laughs> have you still got, have you got all your world's trophies? Do you get to keep the world's strongest man trophy? Yes, I have. They are, they are here. Oh, wow, jeez. What, what do you think, Zedrus? Do you think one day, do you think one day this guy is going to win? Yes. Yeah, I can run before he, he win the trophies for some uh -huh. one, two months. You could, yeah, I, I think you can win. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe one day. Yeah, but that'll be that'll be interesting. Maybe one. I hope. I think Tom. Tom. Tom said he's going to win five from some fun trophies. Three will be enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> he's only a baby. Yeah, he's only a baby still. He's just. Uh, how old are you, Tom? Twenty-five. Twenty-six in a month. So. Twenty-six years. How, how old were you when you won your first one? I was really old because the, uh, my best years was when I competed in Ibiza. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I won, I won when I was. 34, all oh, right. Who's still got a chance as well? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cheeky fucker, Jesus. I'm only 35. <laughs> now, I think everything will be okay for us here. Um, unless you unless you can think of anything that you want or suggest that we need for the, for the attempts. We should have some what? Some strips. <laughs> I'll try and find it from somewhere, I hope. Don't have to worry about him. Uh, geez. I can't I can't have another failed attempt. Do you want do you want me to lift it? No. Uh, I look no, neutral. Neutral <laughs> Th thanks for the support, yeah. <laughs> Sixteen. Wow. Sixteen years. Jeez. Since two thousand four. Fuck. And I live and I set the the record sixteen times. Crazy. Jeez, oh. That's crazy man, that's sixteen years. Oh, crazy man. I've got a lot of work to do. I've got a lot of thanks Tom, man. Everyone's giving me everyone's full of confidence for me, which is nice. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, but it'd be nice. It'd be nice to. I mean, I've always said I, I would never call myself the best in the world, regardless of what I lifted, because I still see you as obviously the best ever, and you always will be for pressing for your your records. Obviously, for 16 years, you've been the best. Naive of me to call myself the best, especially in this environment. That's what we're all saying. I've got this opportunity to go for it, but then. Obviously, I've still got to go against Iron Bibby, Graham Hicks, Aaron Page, Rob Kearney, Robert Oberst as well, if he wants to come in for a laugh. Maybe I can one day have a record like you, Zedrinus. You never know, eh? <laughs> we'll see, yeah. Okay, well, um, well, we'll go. We've got training now, um, but we'll make sure the Wi-Fi and everything, the internet connection's good here. Um, and we'll speak to you, I guess, in the day. Yeah? Okay, man. Well, good luck with your trophies. I hope it goes okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Z. Take care. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye. 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 This is going to be a nightmare to play this. Well, that's not that common to get a call with the GOAT himself, Zadrinus. Thank you, Z. That was nice to... Tom just can't be serious for one minute, can he? Uh. <laughs> but on a serious note, thank you, Zadrinus. Um, I think it's pretty cool that 
he's on board. This guy used to watch him on TV 10 years ago. Now, I was speaking to him. It's funny. And he's refing me again for the third time. Let's see if I can do it again. Hopefully he's the ref for 300. And he can go down. Like, yes. And he was slagging our Wi-Fi connection off. So Simon, you need to get that sorted, mate. You're gonna get that sorted? Yes. Get on the phone to BT and say, look, mate, this is essential. Ah, uh, what's that one I've got in my house? That's a good one. <laughs> we'll just do it in Tom's house. <laughs> How can you not take? How are you gonna get that from here to here? <laughs> With a cable. No, but you have to like, can, like you know how, it may be good over there, but you have to get a, a wire so it connects to like, it. a cable there. Yeah, but you've been serious there, yeah? Yes, I've been serious. Right, it's cut. Yeah, so basically we're gonna weigh, weigh the stone of the day, we're gonna build up, you know, build a little makeshift ramp, and then gently pop it onto the scales, and hopefully, um, you know, we're coming about 286 with adding, like Tom says, not gonna go lower, so just build that ramp up. Job done. His main point was to get a good internet connection. Obviously, we're in the Highlands. And strength. <laughs> yeah, and strength. He says, get some strength. That was more directed at me. Um, so we're going to get, make sure we're going to have a hardwired connection, and I'm going to make sure I have my strength. Also asked Z. I said, would you be happy if I got it? And he hummed and hawed and politely, I think, said 50-50, which means no. He was going on about him having the record for, you know, 16 years. 16 years, that's a long time. It's a, ve that's a record very close to his heart, so it's nice that kind of Z acknowledges if I hit that 230, that record, and I guess in his eyes, will, will kind of go to me, which is amazing for me to think about even. <laughs> don't, I don't like to think about things like that because it just sends me into a bit of a, a, bit of a tiz. This is one of the first charts that any of the athletes have, have done, I think, on their, their proper views about it all. Tom and I have kind of, we've shared a few opinions that kind of maybe split the masses, and I think the whole record breaker thing has kind of split a lot of people's kind of heads and all the rest of it. Z's video, what he kind of came out and said about it all was, it made quite a lot of sense. You know, not one organization or one federation can dictate. Yeah, but he is the greatest, yeah. and He's a king of straw man, so whatever he says, he's go, so bow down to the king. No, but I think, I think, well, for me, you need to approach it without the emotion that people attach to lifting, you know, so um, I might have been a bit full of emotion initially because, you know, everyone was kind of, not making fun of it, but kind of just discounting it completely and saying, oh, this is going to be a joke and all the rest of it, and now, you know, we've got the ESPN, ESPN filming it. It's going to be millions of people watching. We've got Mirafit now, awesome company. Like oh, as well. Yeah, yeah. Rogue. You know, all these credible, prestigious companies coming on board, and I think that just makes the whole thing for me that much more credible. So, again, it's not really up to us. If we come out and say it's official, <laughs> I'm not in any position to say it's not or say it is. If Tom does a 286 kilo stone, that's going to be the heaviest stone ever lifted. If I've got a bit less fresh in my mind because I'm not taking someone's record. Yeah. Like, I'm, I've got the record and I'm trying to extend it when it's for and you and stuff and you know, it's, you're taking some records, so I think that's why it's probably a bit... Yeah. But again, I think that's, that's where people's emotion comes from. Yeah, that's, 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 that's why like, my name's not been in it as much, because they know that I've got the record by like 20 k and I'm not mm. really, no one's really near me. Mm -hmm. like, I don't mean in a valley, but like, no one's yeah, that's right. like, chasing a 286 stone, where there's mm. loads of people are chasing two, two eight logs, a yeah. few people tried a 501 deadlift, so, whereas nobody's even thought, I said, oh, let's get a 270 stone. Mm. So, there's all the videos I've watched, it's kind of been like, more directly about deadlift than you, and, yeah. more, and the stone's been said, but it's kind of, at the end of the day, it's, mm. it's my record, you know? But for, for me, I don't think any one strong man um, competing, you know, be it Brian, Robert, Z, anyone like that, you know, you can't go above your station, so to speak, you can voice your opinion, but if that federation that we're competing for says it's a record, in that federation, then I'm going to take it. You know, it's, it's I, 
I'm, I'm doing this for Lord's Ultimate Strongman, and we're both doing it, so if they say it's their record, then of course I'm going to take it. I'd be daft not to say it because I've worked. People just think this is just like a couple of weeks training. It's, it's not, I mean, it's been, oh, geez, when was the first time you lifted the stone about seven, eight years ago? You know, so. And I thought I'd go get be happy with 180. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, you know, it's kind of seven or eight years worth of training and, and, and self belief and, you know, going through the hard times and everything else and, and following your dreams to be the best at something. So, if someone tries to discredit that lift, then I think that's a bit disrespectful for, for me anyway. Um, I would never, any, any lifts that I see, I, I'm always very optimistic and when we're both, I was very encouraging to the, the other guys and I've got nothing but love for anyone that does a, a, a great I, lift. I, I think competitions are a bit easier as well because you've got 10,000 people shooting at your look at us and the yeah. Calvin Cowds are there, you automatically get a, well in my eyes, two, three K look at like Giant's Live Stone Run. Mm. Like if there wasn't a uh, kill there, I'd be like, this is pointless, you know, it is <laughs> not pointless, but I would not be as free like Arnold's. I was a bit more worried because when the fans got cancelled, I was like, right, I'm going for a world record in front of 40 people, but you have to get, you know, used to it. And so that's why this stone's kind of, for me, I'm just thinking like it's Arnold's, no one's going to be there doing it. And then 300 is going to be on the big stage, the dream. People think it's easier because it's in your own gym, it's on our own log, it's on our own stone, but it's, it's really not. It's, you know, you've got 10,000 people screaming your name. If that doesn't get you up for it, then I don't know what will. So for me, I, I'd much rather be doing it in front of, you know, all these crowds. But unfortunately, we've got to go with what we've got at the moment. We don't know when things are going to be okay or why to do whatever. So this is a... It's a fix. So again, thank you to to Loose the World's Ultimate Strongman for letting us showcase our talents. Um, hope you guys enjoy it more than anything. It's free, which is amazing. You know, to to watch this feats of strength that all the guys are putting on. It's free to watch. Things that have never been done before. It's not like it's just been put on in a gym and you're mm -hmm. This is. Like six, like 286 stone, 230 logs, you know? It's incredible. 286 stone is just looking at it. Oh, yeah. oh baby! I'm getting the shit, but you're freaking at that. <laughs> but anyway, when, but when, when it does, you know, come out and we're all out of lockdown, you better believe that the Stolten Brothers will be at your competitions, will be there. You name the date, name the place. So, well, you'll be there. We'll be anywhere, any time, any place, any part of the world. Just call us. You got our number. Mm. We'll put it in the link below. <laughs> Hello. This cannot be possible to correct your call. You are the king of stones. <laughs> oh, mic drop. <laughs> oh, prank. Uh, I'm just kidding. You're yes. He's not. <laughs> anyway, that was a good one, wasn't it? Right, guys. So that's the phone call with Z. Our little chat about what we think about it all. Hope you guys enjoy it. Keep staying spicy. Stay safe and smile. And swipe up. And keep ringing that little ding-a-ling bell, please, guys. Ding, 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 ding. Thanks for watching.